Hey guys, welcome to JVS Academy. In this video, we'll see how to set up Indian GST in your e-commerce store. If you are a business owner, it is extremely important that uh, you configure GST correctly on your e-commerce store, right? And if you are a developer and handling your client's website, it's most important for your client that you exactly, I mean, uh, configure all the GST taxes correctly as per the regulations, right? We, uh, before that, before we see how to configure that, let's see what we are going to build. So this is our website and here are some products. So let me first add to cart. Let's see what we are going to build, right? What, what, uh, what kind of uh, configuration that we are going to do in GST. So add to cart. So this is a dummy website and I think you are able to see this SGST and CGST, right? These two options will not be there available for you by default. You need to configure it. This is what we are going to do in this video. These are the three products that are now in this uh, cart and we will, the cart will automatically assign CGST and SGST based on the location of the customer, right? So once you click on proceed to checkout, in the final stage, you can see the CGST and SGST. These are the billing details. These are the three products and quantity 211, that's four quantity. And then so total is 117 rupees. And then CGST 10, CGST 10 and SGST 10.53, 10.53. So the total amount is 138.06, right? So this is how we need to configure. And how is this CGST and SGST is apl applied because the store is registered in Hyderabad, Telangana and the customer who is ordering this product is also from Hyderabad, Telangana. So because the transaction is being done, because the order is being uh, made from the same, con same city, I mean same state, so we'll be charging CGST and SGST. What if the customer is purchasing from uh, Sikkim? What happens? Just wait. See, IGST will be built. That is 21 rupees, right? Automatically, it has to, the website has to calculate the tax based on the location of the customer. So if it is Sikkim, then it's, it charges uh, IGST. 21 rupees if the customer is, customer is from West Bengal still it will charge IGST and what happens if the customer is from the same state where the store is registered that's Telangana what happens is it will charge CGST and SGST divided by 50% that's 10.53 and 10.53 right this is how this is the percentage uh, we are billing 18 percentage tax so uh, CGST will be 9% and SGST will be 9% so this is the amount 9% of this subtotal right so this is how this is what we are going to build right now this is what we need to configure correctly but before that you might have seen that we are billing CGST, SGST, IGST there are three main taxes in GST so when to bill when to charge CGST, when to charge STST, and when to charge IGST. This is, this is what we need to see before we start configuring. So let me explain you with some slides. So yeah, before we begin, you need to understand what is GST uh, very briefly in a layman language. I'm not a tax consultant, but still, uh, I have worked on many clients' project, so projects, so I know how to configure this. So yeah. So there are three main taxes in GST. There are CGST, SGST, and IGST. So CGST and SGST should be charged only within same state transactions, okay? And IGST will be applicable only if the customer is from different state. Based on the tax slab, there are five, 10, 18, 28%. These are the tax slab of the product that you are selling based on that you will need to charge IGST, CGST, and SGST. CGST is nothing but center GST, SGST is state GST, IGST is interstate GST. Okay. 
only if the customer is ordering from different state you will be charging igst if the customer is based if the customer is ordering uh, from within the same state where your store is registered then you will have to charge cgst and sgst right so the same thing let's see in a pictorial uh, diagram this is a red circle in this red circle is the condition where the customer is from the same state and green is the one uh, customer who is ordering from different state if the customer is ordering from different state you will charge igst if the customer is ordering from same state within the same state where you your store is registered then you will charge him cgst and sgst and based on the tax slab suppose that your products uh, you need to charge 18 percent tax then you will divide uh, the tax between these two in the sense like if the slab is 18 percent you will charge 99 percent cgst and 9 percent sgst if it is 28 percent then you will have to charge 14 percent cgst and 14 percent sgst similarly uh, if the customer is from out of state from it's a different state from where your uh, store is registered then you will have to charge full uh, tax based on the tax slab if it is 18 percent tax slab if the products you are selling has 18 percent of tax slab then you will have to charge complete 18 percent igst to that particular customer so i hope you have clearly understood when to charge igst when to charge cgst when to charge sgst and we have also seen what we are going to build right and this is what we need to configure so for that what we can do is we need to log in into our admin dashboard it's extremely simple if you understand and if you ignore this there are a lot of youtube tutorials out there which are giving wrong information and uh, the rules of charging scst cgst and igst are different in those videos which are not right so do pay your attention here let's log in into your login into the dashboard first and go to woocommerce and settings under this tax tab you have this option called as uh, standard reduced zero rates so i have configured all these three taxes that is cgst sgst and igst under this standard tax standard rates tab if you want you can uh, you can create more classes as well these are called as class tax class if you want to know more about these tabs you can watch our last video in which we have discussed everything about woocommerce tax for this video we'll be only concentrating on gst how to set up X gst indian gst right uh, go to this standard rates now you can take a screenshot of this settings and you need to make sure you uh, you make it exactly like this and what details has to be changed is the state code the state code will be different for you uh, depending upon where you have uh, your store is registered you can get your state code from wikipedia right I, my store is registered in telangana so telangana state code is ts so i need to enter ts ts here right and then the products that i am selling the products that i am selling are eligible for 18 percent of tax slab they come under 18 percent of tax slab so igst will be 18 percent and cgst sgst will be divided by two so nine percent and nine percent will be charged and these first two option are for those customers who are purchasing from telangana for your country for your uh, criteria wherever the wherever your store is registered if it is in himachal pradesh or if it is in um karnataka or if it is in maharashtra you need to enter the state code here and cgst sgst and these two only these two columns you need to update based on the rate of tax you need to uh, charge and the state code that you your store is registered remaining all these settings will be same priority you need to add sgst and cgst one and two subsequently and then for igst you need to set it up as two right 
this priority i'll discuss in detail for in some other video it is because you can charge two different taxes in a same criteria for a same criteria you can charge two different taxes so because we will be wherever sgst is being built we will also take cgst wherever cgst is being built we will also take sgst right for that for the same criteria we need to charge two tax that's why we need to I enter two different priorities if you enter same priorities either this or that will happen so if so in case uh, in this case if i add one and one or in cgst and sgst either cgst will be applied or sgst will be applied so i'll be entering priority as one two and two and if you need to uh, include shipping as well you can check this box if you don't want to include shipping you can uncheck this box if you want to if since there are multiple products in the cart you need to uh, if you think you need to uh, you know build the customer based on compounding the subtotal after applying sgst the total amount for the total amount you'll be charging cgst for that and similarly for igst if you want to compound you can check this box or else you can leave it as it is just make sure to take the screenshot of this and just uh, you can just simply click on insert row and then you can enter your settings over here if you you can just leave blank these uh, zip code and city code you can just simply leave this blank and right this is how you can uh, set up gst and if you have any questions let me know in the description below right yeah so in our next video we'll see how to integrate payment gateways and how to set up this shipping tab correctly right thank you very much for watching have a great day